Tonight, shocking new details are being revealed about the woman found dead in a flooded townhome this weekend in Lake City's Olympic Hills neighborhood. According to court documents, she was the suspect's girlfriend and was visiting from Hawaii. Thanks for joining us for Fox 13 News at 10. I'm David Rose. And I'm Sabir Rayford. The suspect told police he may have been responsible for her death. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling looked through those court documents and is joining us live tonight. Jen, the suspect is also accused of assaulting a nurse hours after his girlfriend's death. He is. The court documents indicated that he was accused of groping a nurse after leaving his flooded town home and then later, according to those documents, told police that he may have been responsible for killing his girlfriend before taking dried fruit powder and sprinkling it on her body in order to revive her. According to an ID found at the scene, she would have turned 26 today, so she was found only a couple days before her birthday. We have to warn you that some of the details in these court documents are disturbing. It was it's definitely concerning. Neighbor Chris Phobes lives near the complex where a young woman was found dead in her boyfriend's flooded townhome Saturday. Security video captured her walking inside with him at around 5 p.m. Friday carrying groceries. At around 8 a.m. the next day, the 25-year-old man was seen walking out alone, taking something out from under his shirt that appeared to be wrapped in a towel. Her body was discovered after neighbors saw water coming from the townhome and called the landlord. The only reason I knew is because... I saw people digging through my trash, and I guess they were looking for a murder weapon. Newly released court documents reveal what police and fire officials found inside, including that the bathtub was full of water, and the bathroom sink on the bottom floor was running full blast, and there was no shower head on the pipe. The victim was found on her back with a throat laceration and an ice pack on her throat and a small block behind her neck supporting her head, with possible dried blood on her arms, shoulders, and chest, as well as a granular substance covering these areas. Witnesses also reported seeing her boyfriend with bandages on his hands the same morning. He, if it's confirmed that he did it, he should be behind bars. He shouldn't be out at all. Police arrested the victim's boyfriend at UW Medical Center Northwest early Sunday after staff called 911 when a nurse reported a patient in the ER assaulted her by groping her breasts and attempting to pull her head down by hooking the back of her neck. Police learned it was the suspect who'd been taken to the hospital by friends for psychotic behavior. During questioning, he told police he had a crisis condition which caused him to leave his home. He said his girlfriend was there after just arriving from Hawaii where she lives. He said he thought he may have killed her and has a memory of choking her, twisting her neck, holding her down underwater in the tub, adding that he thought he broke her neck and remembered her bleeding from her nose, which he wiped away. He said he pulled her from the tub to the bathroom floor. He told investigators he tried a number of things to revive her, including sprinkling the acai powder all over her, placing a ball similar to a golf ball in her mouth to fix her jaw. It's scary. It's, you know, I, I wish... I wish that I could feel safe in Seattle. Tragically, court records show the young woman was only about two days away from celebrating her 26th birthday when she was found. You know, the whole thing is a tragedy, you know, and especially just being right before her birthday. It's, it's just no family wants to go through that ever. Court documents indicate that the suspect in this case also told police that he had taken two molly pills, which is also known as ecstasy, and smoked some weed around the time that he was interacting with his girlfriend. He's inspected in court later this week. Reporting live in Seattle, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.